In Japanese, the word tsunami indicates a sea wave of great height and extension, extremely charged with energy. It moves very quickly, and near the coast it grows in height until it assumes the appearance of n dimension of a real wall of water, even a few tens of meters high. Such an event can destroy everything, ships, ports, buildings, and drag thousands of people away. At the origin of a tsunami, there is, as a rule, an earthquake or a tsunami. But there may be other causes, slopes or eruptions of submerged volcanoes, coastal instability, or the fall of meteorites. This phenomena upset the balance of water and cause the formation of waves charged with energy. The billows fluctuate and spread rapidly in all directions, for example at a speed of over 1000 km in hours, in a sea of 8 km depth. They can therefore cross the ocean in a few hours. In the open sea, the length from crest to crest is thousands on kilometers, while the height of the wave is minimal, only a few decimeters. For this reason, the waves charged with energy are practically not perceptible on high seas. The tsunami becomes dangerous only when it approaches the coast. As the depth of the water decreases, the tsunami slows down its course while the effect of the surf is produced. The energy flow of a tsunami is independent of the speed and height of the wave, but remains almost constant. Therefore, in the, if the speed decreases, the height increases. When the tsunami reaches the coast, depending on the configuration of the coast and the strength of the wave, there is the breaking of a series of high waves of, or the destructive action of the front of some gigantic waves, up to 30 meters high. Depending on the configuration of the coast, it manifests itself in the form of a fluid mass that rises in a few seconds, penetrates the mainland and then lowers just as quickly with a devastating sucking action. The phenomenon can repeat itself several times. Tsunami is a very frequent phenomenon on the Pacific coast. It happens on average twice a year. It is rare for a tsunami to form in lakes, where, however, its strength is not as great as in the sea. What damage can it cause? The tsunami causes appalling floods. The waves that break on the coast and the swirling movement of the suction devastate entire strips of land up to several kilometers inland. The enormous force of a tsunami destroys everything in its path. Mentsu can be overwhelmed by the mass of the water. The tsunami can creep inland through the mouths of rivers with the same devastating force. The biggest catastrophe before 2004, originating for a tsunami, occurred in 1883, after the eruption of the Krakatoa volcano in Indonesia. Waves, presumably up to 40 meters high, were formed in a radius of 80 kilometers. There were 36,000 victims. The tsunami of December 26, 2004 in South Asia had consequences and caused more damage than all the previously recorded disasters. Flooding is a natural process that occurs along the bed of water waves. Floods can be a catastrophic event when it, it, it is caused by atmospheric conditions that cause torrential rain for days or weeks. Unfortunately, the flood is an unforeseen um, event but predictable in some places affected by monsoon and cyclones. A flood carries large quantities of soil and debris torn by the force um, of the water and cause a lot of damage and makes rescue difficult. Floods are often accompanied by the landslides and uh, that um, can cause uh, a lot of damage and vi victims. During the flood, the large quantity of mud Made, uh, are transported to nearby areas and form floodplains um, such uh, as the Po Valley. A flood that unfortunately struck uh, the areas of Lunigiana, in particular Aula, was that of 25 October 2011. That day, in a few hours, more than 50, 500 uh, millimeters of rain fell, which um, caused a lot of damage to deaths, 300 displaced persons and five fallen bridges between the Valle of Magua and the Valle of Fara. 
one of the worst floods uh, ever after Katrina hit the state of Louisiana, which is located in south east of the United States. This happened from 13 to uh, 15 August 2016 when a um, um, tropical cyclone it uh, it uh, and it was a catastrophic event for the state in fact uh, 40,000 home, homes were affected and um, 20,000 people rescued all of this is mainly uh, due um, to climate change signs um, with the increased in temperatures evaporation increases and consequently uh, the water vapor in the atmosphere leading to heavy rains and extremely violent, violent meteorological events. Uh, the worst flood of uh, all time was that due to Hurricane Katrina, which uh, um, on August 23, uh, 2005, always hit the state of Louisiana and brought the city of New Orleans to its knees uh, so that um, 80 uh, percent of the city ended up uh, underwater and almost uh, the entire population he had uh, to leave his home the dead the death, uh, uh, were about 80 1800 uh, the blizzard is a very violent snowstorm accompanied by strong winds. The most intense snowfalls occur when a cold air mass and pre-existing on the ground subsequently collides with a hot humid one which flows at high altitude above the cold one which creates a subspecies of cushion. In Italy Snowstorms are not common in lowland areas except uh, on the Adriatic side being the latter exposed to the ice winds from the Balkans. Different speech for mountain areas where you can be taken by surprise uh, by snowstorm at any time. There are some of the most devastating natural phenomena in terms of consequence because the effects are often the cause of severe inconvenience to traffic and the transport in general with the risk of isolation of some remote inhabited centers, lack of electricity and difficulty on supplies. Uh, the top three of uh, blizzard are uh, in uh, USA in uh, 1959 in the Shasta Mountains in the USA there were uh, 480 centimeters of snow if judged by the amount of snow that falls then this is perhaps the most serious snowfall in history but uh, he went for into the mountains and almost did not attack uh, the St. Clements. Despite the amount of snow that fall almost three times compared to the storm of the century, the snowfalls covered a very small area and remained almost uh, unnoticed. At uh, the second ground Buffalo in the USA in the 1977, uh, Buffalo is located in the northern United States but typically has warmer temperatures and less snow than the surrounding areas. There was a moderate snowfall in the city and uh, is, um, became a blizzard with uh, 560 cm of snow. However, the most intense of all ever recorded occurred in the 19. 72 in Iran hitting the Hardakan area in the south of the country are causing more than uh, uh, 4,000 victims. 
Now we can talk about the drought, which is the opposite of other water phenomena caused by water. Drought is a normal and recurrent feature of climate that can occur in areas with different climate regimes and whose impacts can vary from region to region. It is therefore linked to the concept of temporary water deficit, which changes over time as opposed to aridity, which is a permanent feature of climate typical of areas with low rainfall and high evapotranspiration and is linked to the concept of permanent negative water balance. There are different types of drought. Meteorological drought, it is defined on the basis of a rainfall deficit in relation to a normal or average quantity calculated over a sufficiently long period, at least 30 years, and the duration of the dry period drought sequences. Then there is agricultural drought occurs when the water supply in the root affected portion of the soil is insufficient to support the crop and pasture development between rainfall heavens the response of crops to the deficit varies with type and phenological stage hydrological drought it is caused by insufficient recharge of aquifer streams and surface basins and occurs over longer periods of time than the other two. At the end, we have socio-economic drought. It is associated with the supply demand relationship of goods associated with water during particularly intense or long drought periods. There may be problems with allocation of water resources that are not sufficient to ensure normal economic activities and civilian use. As we can see in this image, the countries most affected by the problems of drought are located in these large areas of our planet. North and East Africa, especially the so-called Horn of Africa, the Middle East, some areas in southeastern Brazil, Oceania and in particular Australia. In the other image we see the drought in the California. As we have been able to see in this last years, California has been the protagonist of numerous incidents caused exactly by the drought present in the territory. We can see just this graph that deals with the drought in California.